Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Um, this is the first episode of a series of videos that I will do, where I basically just explain and show how I play. This one is the first video. It will be the simplest video, I will just show all the skips that I use and what they do. And I will leave the, the scripts in the description, so you guys can can see them or you guys can just join the discord server in the description and see in the in the scripts chat so um let's get started i the other two uh, parts of the series will be one sprint on n1 rounds and the other one will be fighting how i fight in general how what i what i do when someone attacks me what um what my reactions are, how do I attack, things like that. So how how to be efficient while attacking. But those parts are coming later, not today. So um, to start with the scripts, I will start with the most important one, which is key press. I will just click five and disappears. It's a very useful farm script. Um, you just assign a key to um, to the buttons here so instead of you having to click here with the mouse you can just press c for example and it will it will um, send the attacks so you don't have to click in the mouse and you can assign keys to changing villages as well so for example i have r to change village change farm farm change it's basically a farm bot almost like it's so fast i can just spam both keys and i'm farming non-stop what we also do in in rounds where you only have one village, is the, the, the changing village button will make it so we can reload the page. So we don't have to reload the page every time. So you can see that in other videos. I don't reload the page when I'm playing on two tabs. I don't reload the, the page on the, um, on the right side. I just click R and it will reload all of the, um, the villages. If I, if I have farmed all of the villages, I will click R for more villages to appear again on the farm assistant. So I don't have to launch the script again, I don't have to do any of that. I just have to click R. So this script is very useful. Um, you can play on two tabs with it normally, um, as I've uh, recorded me playing before. It's quite simple. And you also have some filters here, but this is more for worlds. Um, you, can, you can select, like for example, if you were attacking, if you are micro farming, you can select how many attacks per village you want to have. For example, if you're in a world uh, where all of the villages are like 26 points, you want to, to select like, for example, put like 20 attacks and then after that the village won't appear anymore. Something like that. I don't I don't really use this because this is mostly for worlds. But these, these things can help as well. Um, that's basically it for the key press. So that's it. Then I will I will just follow the order of my fast access bar. I have the rename with back time script. How does this work? Um, I will attack myself here. For example, this one. I will attack with rams, you will see. So when I go here, I can see that I have an attack incoming. What you would do normally would be rename it like this. But what I do is just click 7 or click in the script. And what it will do it is it will say it is ram because of the time, and it will tell me the back time. As you can see here, this will be the back time. I will cancel the attack, but yeah. And then you can just hit the the person with the back time. Uh, the back time will also be in the report when the, the attack comes, so you don't lose it. You, you can just go to the report and check it, and then just send the back time. That's why um, playing for... Uh, for back times is, is really easy when you have this script and it's legal, so why not? You you can't attack um, in such a risky way that you will just get back time and lose. So yeah. Other script that we also use is the hiding barbs in the farm assistant. Um, I will get that script, I don't have it here. Uh, Hiding barbs in the farm assistant is this one. This one. So what this this is for is I'll make a template real quick. One, 
something. What this is for is it will hide all of the barbarians that you have in your farm assistant. So for example, if you are playing an N1 and you want to collect more barbs to your farm assistant, you can just use this, make a template on your rally point, select it, attack, and then this is how we collect barbarians fast. You can just hold enter and click on the villages and it will basically send the attack instantly. So you can just collect all of the barbs. You don't usually need to collect all of the barbs, but yeah, that's that's something related to playing the game itself, not to the script. But yeah, this script is 100% legal, but we also use the map farm script, which is basically the same idea, but what it does is it will just show me this. This is what I've been using the, the past rounds. It will just show me this. All of these villages, I don't have them in the farm assistant yet, so I can just click here, and I will send an attack to them normally. I don't have to be clicking on the map. This is what we've been using. This script is not legal on .NET. But this script has been legal in the... Um, in the 8v8 tournament. And it is also being legal in the 3v3 tournament. And the Italian admin said it's okay. It, the script itself has no problem. It will not generate um, cheating logs. So if you are playing on a server where... Um, where the moderators are moderating the rounds and they can see you have uh, something on your uh, on your bar, you can just use it on your um, on your favorites bar, and it should solve the problem. It's not a what it does is not illegal. It's not legal on net, but what it does is not illegal. So we've just been using it, and admins have been having no problem with us using it. They've they've been seeing us using it, and and they have been approving it. So. The next script is the fake script. As you can see, I clicked on the, on the script and it will just fill in with the units to send an attack. What is this for? In, in rounds, for example, on, on PT, if you go see the rounds, there's also a fake limit. Look, 1% fake limit. This script will adjust your attacks to be, to be according to the fake limit. So here, if it is, for example, 1%, you will put 1% in the fake here. It is already 1% because most of the rounds are 1%. So when you want to attack someone with this script, you can just go here, change the cards, put the coordinates of your enemy. Let's say I wanted to attack this guy. I will put this, these cards in. Um, what is it here? I can just change this. And then I will click on the script. It will add with the coordinate and fill in with the units. So this is what the script does, and then you can just send the attack, and you can send fakes as much as I as much as you want, and you can put as much coordinates as you want. It will it will send following to to you to each other. Okay, so other scripts that I also use, I use um, this script, but this is only for very specific uh, purposes. This is a resource center script, as it says. What it does is it calculates the, the medium amount of uh, resources that you have on your village. And then you can put the, the coordinates of a teammate. For example, if you are playing an N1 and a teammate of you uh, has a really bad position, you can just use the script to send him like um, the average of resources that you have according to your, to your market space. It's very useful, very simple. I will also add this script in the description, just like all of the others. But this one is, is... I haven't been using it. Which more scripts can I talk about here? I have the balancer, but this one is pretty much straightforward. Everyone knows this. It will just balance the, the resources you have in your villages. You can just click enter and it will balance. That's that simple. I think everyone knows this script. Uh, of course, you won't use this in an N1. It's it's kind of useless, but here it is very good. Uh, fake script I've talked about already. The adjust script. Uh, for example, if I wanted to send fakes to someone, I could select a ratio here. I could put 12-1, for example, fakes. But then it wouldn't be adjusted to the fake limit, right? So I could click adjust and it would adjust to the fake limit. Of 1%. You can change that here. 
in the code itself. In the code itself, there is a thing saying fake limit. If it is two, for example, you can just change that to two on the code. It's a pretty simple script, and then you can just send fakes on the map. You can just go here, fakes, and start spamming fakes as you would with the um, with the collecting barbs thing. So you just go here, do all of this. Yeah, just you can just spam fakes to players like that. I also have the counting army script, this script, um, it just tells you the army you have and the loot you have, so you can just send it to your fans, copy paste and, and compare with your uh, teammates what you have. It's very useful, it's it's something very minor. Um, I also use the import and export script, um, I don't use it anymore now because in all of the servers where I play I already have my my quick bar setup, but when you are playing on a new server, you might want to use this to, to set up your quick bar. Um, your quick bar is, is this, where you have the script. So, that is uh, a very useful script. It is legal on net, but it, it is actually bannable. It gives um, uh, cheating logs, it's weird. I don't know why it is legal, but it is. So, I don't use that, use it at your own risk, I guess. Um, and then, to finish, I just have these two scripts here. The rename script is a pretty straightforward script. You can just use any rename script. I'm not on it. I'm not even going to put this one in the description. You can just find any renaming script. And then the noble script, to make nobles in, in the village, for example. I can just click it and it will make a noble here. Uh, it should. Click it and... Yeah, it will make a noble. It will redirect the academy. And it will make a noble. So... Yeah, that's that's it for the scripts. This is it. Stay tuned for the for the next video where I will just be sprinting on a N1 round and I will be saying what I'm doing and, and why. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope it helps you. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.